are going to explore some thrifting and some fast fashion and figure out which is going to save us the most coin. This is so cute, but it's gonna be so hard to recreate. This is like an outfit I would wear. I was pleasantly surprised with this find. I looked really far and wide. Hey guys, welcome back to Clever Style. Woo, that's where we are. You guys know that we love a good deal here. We like bargain hunting. Mm. We like when we get a percentage off. And unfortunately, that leads us to a lot of fast fashion. I mean, it's it's affordable, you know? Sorry. And that's, that's just the reality of the game. Yeah. But we have obviously featured stores like Shein, we got Fashion Nova, we have Forever 21, H&M. But we also do a lot of thrifting on this channel, which is fun because you can find so many different unique pieces and it's better for the planet. Seriously, this needs to be recycled. But you know, today it's about both sides of the fashion spectrum, if you will. So yeah, we, we are, are going to explore some thrifting and some fast fashion and figure out which is going to save us the most coin at the end of the day. Okay, so this is how we're gonna do it. We're gonna each go on Pinterest, we're gonna find an outfit that we like, and then we're going to try to recreate that outfit mm -hmm. at Forever 21 and at Goodwill. And then it's gonna be a back-to-back -back debate, a versus of which one we can save the most money. I could not be more excited about this. Okay, so we have phones in hand. You guys know what that means. It means we're about to shop. So we're gonna find our outfits right now on Pinterest so we can show you guys before we go shopping. I'm a little nervous. Why? Because- Do you use your Pinterest? I only reason why I use Pinterest is to look up furniture ideas mm -hmm. and like room yeah, designs. Yeah, well, well, most of mine's home stuff. Yeah, I've never used Pinterest to look for clothes. But I'm pretty sure you can just search on Pinterest and anything will come yeah. up, right? What are you typing in? Cute outfit? I don't know, I just like scrolled down just to see what came up and like this came up. It's this blue- Oh my God, that is so cute. So freaking cute. It's a blue opal bralette with like a oversized blazer and jeans. What did you type in? And when I scrolled I didn't down, type I didn't see couches. In anything. I didn't type in anything. I just kept scrolling. What the heck? Yeah. Look, this is what popped up when I scrolled. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh my God, I don't think you're gonna have to recreate that don't though. I'm gonna just type in like 90s street style, just I because I feel like outfits. it's a lot of like t-shirts. Might be easier to get you know, like the grungy style of both Forever 21 right. and the Goodwill. Cute outfits popped up when I typed in cute outfits. Really? What were you expecting? Oh, this is cute. It's like a that is cute. plaid skirt and a cropped collared skirt shirt. I found my <laughs> um, plaid skirt from elementary school. Oh, my uniform, and I'm not giving it away because I feel like there's an outfit in there somewhere. That's why I can't give anything away anymore because apparently everything comes back. So then you think it's ugly and then five seconds later, it's really cool. Make up your mind. I've seen a, real, a few really cute sweat outfits, but I'm like, is that a little too easy? I don't know if that's too easy. I think sweats would be hard. That's true because sweats, sweats? you'd have to have the matching set. Yeah. And it's like, mm, good luck. I guess like if you are able to get enough pieces that are similar though and get the overall vibe, that that should work. Cause there's no way we're gonna be able to recreate exact. them the same way. I'm that's really into cute. this whole like button up 90s thing. Yeah. I really like this too. Like this collegiate sweater, oh, so white cute. crop. That's Haley Baldwin or Bieber and red purse jeans, skinny jeans. Okay. Is it weird that I already knew it was her before you said it was her? Like it she just... has a, a a whole she has a thing. To yeah. Her. I'm gonna screenshot that just because I feel like that's the closest I've come to being really happy. Oh, this is good too. It's like a, a button-up oversized shirt yeah, with some shorts. That's with it cute. Half that's very with some chic. Heels. That's oversized button-up is gonna be tough, I think. But you that think? would be no, like go to the men's section. Yeah, I guess at a, a Goodwill too. Yeah. How am I gonna decide? I screenshot it like five outfits. How can I choose? I have made my decision. Of course it had to be Haley Bieber. She is wearing a white crop top. It looks like there might be a little bralette underneath. On the bottom she has straight leg jeans. They seem like they're skinnies, but they're a little bit loose at the bottom. And then the big part of this outfit is this collegiate cardigan sweater. Oh, of course, it's a Gucci cardigan, so. Father, son, and house of Gucci. So I have decided after much deliberation mm. to go with this outfit that has an oversized button up top, which is so cute. Half is tucked into the jeans shorts, but the jean shorts have to be high waisted. She's also wearing these statement earrings. She also has a clutch, a black clutch, and she has these strappy white sandals. Shanae, this is gonna be hard. It is gonna be hard. I honestly think it's gonna be very hard, but maybe we'll be surprised at what, what we find at each store. Mm. It, if it's it's not the right day, you'd be screwed either way, you know? True. Well, hopefully today is the day where they just stocked everything right. and it's organized. But which one are we gonna go to first? Fresh 
fresh off the Goodwill runway, I present to you, Haley Bieber! Do you know? <laughs> I see something. I like whatever I'm seeing. I'm, I'm not buying that. Okay, Shana, mm. tell me how you're feeling. Well, obviously, you know, this was the Goodwill outfit. Mm. I knew beforehand that this was probably gonna be very difficult, and I expected Goodwill to be extremely difficult just because her pieces are very specific. I was like, all right, what's the vibe? The vibe is like a little bit collegiate, a little bit bougie preppy, but still mm -hmm. like street style, a good combo. So I, instead of getting that oversized men's Gucci sweater that is to die for, obviously. They didn't I, have that there? No, they didn't have that at the Where? local Goodwill. What a surprise. But like this little vest kind of got the idea of like the collegiate, especially with the buttons. There's something retro about yeah. it. Something that has the same type of vibe. These jeans from H&M actually really did. The them jeans are off. super cute. They also look brand new. I know. They're so nice. Wow. Um, and then I ended up getting just this little Sunday best tank top and so cute. these shoes. And the shoes are crazy because the shoes are like so close to what she was wearing. So just finding like a Velcro sneaker, I was like, damn. That's a wild find. Yeah, and they were brand new and they were just sitting there and they were in my size and I was like, it's like, oh Thanks, man. Yep. Hey, appreciate you. You're welcome. I spent $47 on this outfit okay. and got five items. A lot of the accessories were just non-existent, which is unfortunate. But for 47 bucks, just think about what I did get. Five Great. items, it's pretty good. But I also feel like it's not like as cheap as I thought it would be, I guess. Yeah. But you know what? 47 bucks, five items. For a whole outfit? Including jeans Listen. and shoes. It is still impressive and I will take it. Just overall, th th this outfit is very underwhelming to me. There are pieces that are reminiscent of her outfit, yeah. but it doesn't excite me and that makes me sad. <laughs> I mean, look, this was about us trying to replicate these outfits That's at two true. different places. That right? is true. And I think you did a good job with what you could work with. Yeah, you I mean, know? I feel like I got like the essence. Oh, but I mean, a cardigan would have just sealed the deal, but I looked really far and wide. We believe you, okay? And now it is my great pleasure to introduce to you that girl from Pinterest who has great style. Here she is, girl from Pinterest. Girl oh, from Pinterest. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, I love this so much. As soon as you stepped out, I was like, oh, damn I'm it. Like, I'm just, I'm Thank really Thank God this is not a competition. <laughs> I was pleasantly surprised with this find. So I found the shirt and I was like, oh, good. I'm gonna yeah. find the rest of it. Found the shorts. I actually found two pairs of shorts that I thought looked really good or close to mm, the outfit. Mm -hmm. I went with these though, because they did have the cuff and she had a cuff she on She does hers. have a cuff, yeah. The shoes are mine because size 11, first of all, is just hard. And the shoes she's wearing are like very specific. I did find this bag though, so hers is, more of a clutch handheld, mm -hmm. but this is a shoulder bag. But I was like, perfect, I can just shove it right up in there. It's amazing. And make it look like hers. This is incredible, I'm very Ooh, impressed. You killed it. That's good stuff. This is so good. This is like an outfit I would wear. Okay, so for three items, I got this outfit for $21, so which good. is a steal. Granted, I don't frequent Goodwill that often, so I don't know how much stuff normally is, but listen to these prices. $5 for shorts, $8 for this top, and the bag was on sale for $8 as well. That's pretty normal for Goodwill. Okay. Well, <laughs> perhaps you've never been there. And now presenting harrowing from the streets of Forever 21, Haley Bieber. 21. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> I like this even better than the first one. This is so I cute. I mean, it again was a, a journey, a process, but oh, I man. again had to just go for getting like the essence or the vibe. I don't know why. I really thought that a cardigan, it's fall, back to school plus fall, this, that's the season and just a collegiate cardigan yeah. sound, seemed like would be everywhere, right? Especially for everyone. Uh, oh, yeah. They had tons of like plaid skirts and like college whatever. Yeah. So I just expected them to have cardigans and they didn't. Well, what do you call this? Well, I mean, yeah, but like the back to school cardigan, the school cardigan. I don't know what that is, Sinead. What does it mean? So I instead opted to get a plain cardigan and then uh, try to tie in the red shirt, because the her cardigan is red and white, so tie right. that in with the little crop top on the bottom. I love it. Um, and that way it's just getting the vibe, and plus it has this collar, so it still makes me feel like Is this a like real crop, or did you make this crop top? It is a crop, but I tucked it into my bra. I, this is, I would wear this. Yeah, and then, um, the, surprisingly enough, of all the jeans that Forever 21 had in that store, they did not have my size. So I actually sized up, and I actually preferred it because they were skinny jeans, and I feel like this is, so cute. this is the way I want to wear skinny jeans. I you love know? the slit on the ankle. Yeah, that's really interesting, right? Yeah. It's like different. The shoes. 
There was not a single pair of white shoes in all of Forever 21 in a size eight and a half or a nine. It was like, welcome to my world. This was the only pair, but they were $7. They were on sale, which is really cheap. And then the accessories, that's the difference between Forever 21 and Goodwill in my so opinion, cute. right? I opted for a backpack, and I just felt like, again, going for the vibe rather, the school vibe or the, yeah. you know, the collegiate vibe. And then she had these really thick gold hoops. I really love these, I actually. Love those I too. don't own anything like them. And then of course I got these sunglasses. The sunglasses were the last ones Ooh. and they were so close to the ones that she was wearing. These sunglasses are so cute. They're In fact, so I'm upset cute. at myself for not getting these. They, they were the last ones. They didn't even have a tag on it. God, I, they were so cute. I had a fear that she was gonna be like, oh, we're not supposed to selling these. Cause like nobody at the front of Forever 21 knew what they were. I wonder if someone left their sunglasses and they accidentally tagged Probably. them. Someone's typing it right now and be like, girl, those are mine. Give them back. I spent $122 on eight pieces. Why does okay. that sound like expensive? Am I just that cheap these days? I think after hearing Goodwill, it's gonna sound expensive. And I mean, if you think about it, like I was able to get a lot more things. I was yeah. able to get the jewelry, sunglasses, the bag. Those are all components I could not have done at Goodwill. I'm actually kind of surprised. I thought it would, Forever 21 would be even cheaper than that though. That's so so yeah. did I. I, I still view Forever 21 as being very cheap. Maybe they're getting more ethical. Yeah, maybe. Hopefully. And she is back. It's your favorite Pinterest fashion vlogger who just left Forever 21. Still looking fly AF. Here she is, Pinterest girl. Hello, Pinterest girl. She's back. She's back. Uh, okay, you look amazing. Like Thanks. honestly, this is so great. I am beside myself as to how close the shirt color, color of the shirts are. I do not understand how this happened, but I feel like it's good luck that it did. I don't know what that means. Yeah. Like, I also saw a hummingbird this morning, so here's hoping. <laughs> So the difference, obviously this shirt is a different texture. Oh yeah, it's a lot thicker, bulkier. I like this one more. It's I just, do too. It's softer, it's really comfortable. It makes me feel like I'm gonna sip a latte, you know? It's definitely cooler too. Like, dare I say, I'm gonna sound like an old lady, but it's hipper. Speaking of hips, What's around them are these shorts. Um, you like I, them? I like the shorts. Yeah, I like At them. At first, I was like, I don't know, because there's a tie here, and I was like, ah, oh, the bow's weird. But then I really like how you can this look of it being high waisted, and then you can cinch it. I, I love really it. like that, and I feel like it accentuates the look more to Absolutely. what I wanted it to be. Again, a lot cooler, kind of more youthful. Yeah, and fun. the Goodwill ones were a little too look tight and short, and this mm -hmm. is more of the vibe that I wanted for the look. And then the shoes. And this is so creepy because these shoes look so much like the shoes that Pinterest girl was wearing. Yeah, and I thought it was going to be impossible to find. So they don't have a size 11. No, they have not changed their ways. These are a size 10, but they totally they work. Fit. I mean, your toe your toe is creeping a little my towards toe, the front. My toe it's is like a little bit. It's, it's creeping because they're not my size. It's much. like, hello. <laughs> Oh, bag. and then the bag, so I think the Goodwill one was definitely more like the one in the yeah, photo. Yeah, that slouchier feel. Exactly, but I still think this is super cute. Super cute. The earrings, I couldn't find the exact ones that she had, mm -hmm. and I was actually shocked that Forever 21 didn't have more statement jewelry. I'm surprised you find those. It was literally just these. It was these and then these big stars. And yeah, I was like, okay, and they've this had is those nice. for like four years. Forever. And no one's buying them. <laughs> Give it up already! Okay, so this time at Forever 21, for all of the pieces, because this time I actually did hit all the pieces with the shoes and the earrings, yeah. $128. Yeah. Which I think is still pretty good, given the, the quality of everything, you know? Right. For a full outfit, it's a little pricey, especially for Forever 21, but again, mm -hmm. hopefully not because we're getting more ethical. No, no, but hopefully. Obviously, going the Goodwill route was cheaper. You yes. save more money, the clothes are cheaper. Duh, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. However, you're not able to always always find everything you need at Goodwill, especially when it comes to like accessories. If you are trying to get a specific look, you might have to invest some time into traveling to multiple Goodwills. And I get it, I get it, it makes sense, but it's just difficult. You can't expect to go to one Goodwill and get an entire it's outfit. more work. Yeah, so we spent more money at Forever Stress. 21, but we got like, all the different elements, yeah. at least to some extent. And personally, I feel a lot more comfortable in terms of a recreation outfit in the Forever 21 out, uh, in the Forever 21 fit. Clearly we love doing this shenanigans. Yeah. So I think we definitely should do it again. But the question is, what store should we swap out for Forever 21? Mm. You guys gotta let us know. Make it harder. Make it more difficult. Oh yeah, that's good, that's a good one. Not too difficult though. Yeah, no, let's not get crazy <laughs> here, all right? 